Yo, yo, YouTubers, what is up? Making another video. This is the top 10 worst Dragon Ball Z statues in my collection. This is Dragon Ball Z only, not including GT, Super, or Dragon Ball. Now, before we get there, I accidentally totally forgot number 7 on my top 10 favorite list, and so I am going to do that right now. Goku vs. Cooler, VKH, amazing statue. Watch my video review if you have not, but this is number 7 of my top 10 favorite Dragon Ball Z. Now, for... The top 10 worst, I'm going to go in order of worst statues. So number one is going to be the Feng Sheng or MRC, not sure who really made this, King Cold and Mecha Freeze. That's very unremarkable. I would totally sell it. It's just I don't have a box. There's a little bit of damage. It's not worth a lot, and I just have it here for the sake of having it. I really wish I never even bought it. I don't care for it. The detail and paint's very mediocre. There's no underbase. The newer version is better if you ever decide to get this. But this is the worst DBZ statue I own. Number two is going to have to be the Shenron Dragon. This is a very old resin. Probably came out six years ago, but it's really just outdated. I mean, the pose choice is okay. The base, I mean, I love an underbase, more vibrant paint, more detailed sculpt. But it's just a very outdated resin. So this is going to be number nine on the list of top ten worst DBZ statues. So I'm sorry, number two. So one, two, three is going to be MRC Goku Chi Chi Wedding. Just a very unremarkable scene. Who cares about a resin in their freaking wedding form? Seriously? I don't know why this was ever made. There's so many cooler scene choices that could have been done. And it's very outdated when it comes to detail. There's no, you know, texture detail. And it's just unremarkable. So that's the third worst DBZ statue I own. Fourth is going to have to be MRC Krillin getting kissed by 18. Terrible scene choice. Good sculpt and paint. Could use some texture details. No. But it's small and it's just a very unremarkable scene. I mean, seriously, who cares about Krillin getting kissed by 18? What were they thinking? So many better scene choices we could have chose from. So that makes it one, two, three, and four. The fifth worst is going to have to be Gotenks VKH. I love Gotenks, the vibrant paint on the hair and everything. The likeness is great. It's just the scene choice is terrible. You got Super Boo in a little ball form. Oh, they could have done so many cooler scene choices like him kicking them in the face. You know, like a kick uppercut in essence. That would have been so much cooler. Plus, it needs an underbase. Because these don't connect, it really needs an underbase. So, that's going to make my fifth worst DBZ statue that I currently own. Uh, number six, Defunct Shun Goku vs. Boo. Good pose. Boo looks great, and he's the shining star. But the base is plain, no underbase, and Goku just looks terrible. So this makes the sixth worst DBZ statue I own. Number seven, we're gonna have to go with, God, I got so many good statues, it's hard to say which one's my worst. Uh, I'm gonna say VKH Trunks vs. Mecha Freeze. Now I really do love this statue, but the detail's outdated. There's no texture detail, there's no underbase. The base itself is extremely plain. It could definitely use a much better base and texture detail. So I'm sorry, Trunks, I love you, but you got to make the top 10 list. After that, we're going to have to do Frieza versus Goku. Very plain base, very plain detail. I mean, it was good at the time, but now, it, you know, compared to the newer stuff, it's just more plain looking. So that's going to make the list. So now let's count it back. So we got one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got two more. Number nine is going to have to be Triple Kamehameha. Love this resin. However, the base could be a billion times better. There's no cloud effect. There's nothing. It's just a plain rock. And the likeness is slightly, slightly off on them, you know, I mean, I really do love this resin, don't get me wrong, but it could definitely be improved. There's no texture detail. They all look the same, and there's, the base is just a failure, like, compared to that Broly base, which is so much better. So that's number nine. Number ten is going to have to be 
God, I got so many good resins, it's really hard to pick one. I'm gonna have to go with this guy. The only reason, it's too small. It needs to be bigger, it's not a true one six scale. Look at Goku to the right, how much bigger he is. I love this, everything about it. The underbase could be, I don't like that yellow, should just be a plain black. But Goku looks great, there's good detail. Could use a little texture work, it's really just a recast of the uh, freaking plastic one. I love the base, it's just too small and the underbase is kind of ugly. That yellow, not digging it. So that's the top 10 worst DBZ statues I own. Granted, I still love all my Dragon Ball Z statues. I'm still not a huge fan of that King Cold, but unfortunately that thing's going nowhere. But that's the top 10 worst among this collection of just Dragon Ball Z. Now, if I was to include, you know, GT or Dragon Ball, there would definitely be some on that list. But we're focusing on DBZ, which is the shining star of the series. So there you have it. Top 10 worst Dragon Ball Z statues in the collection. There is plenty of worst statues out there. I have sold a lot, but that's the worst among my collection. If I had to choose 10 that would get the boot, those would be the 10. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.